What's good, everybody? Welcome to the new series, Resident Evil Village, aka Resident Evil 8, aka an amazing game. <laughs> Other than a few plot holes, and uh, it's a little too short, everything moves a little too fast for me. It's an amazing game. Like, I don't feel like you spend any time in the village, but this game's still really, really good. But yeah, me and my girl been playing some of it, and it's amazing. So, with that being said, thank y'all for joining me on this new journey. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. That way you know when the videos are up, you're the first one to know. So y'all make sure you hit the comments below, man, and hit the likes, and of course, stay tuned for more. With that being said, let's jump right into it. I was thinking about doing it on Village of Shadows, but I don't want to be dying every 20, you know, 20, 30 minutes, so make this series way longer than it needs to be, I believe. So we're just going to stick to hardcore difficulty. That's I think that's the perfect difficulty. Standard and obviously it's easy, too easy, and casual is just like, if you just want to play for the story. So we're going to, you know, we like our games a little difficult. We like our games difficult, period. We usually pick you know the hard difficulty and then after we beat it and we play it again we go on the hardest difficulty but with that being said let's jump right into it three two one let's get it long ago a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work but the forest greeted them with a dark cold silence the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. Is with the creepy story. She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, 
go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. I'm just cooking dinner. It's in a weird how like most games they're they're cooking like some kind of stew. It just I guess it must be easier to animate. Like I said to your mom, that book's too scary for you. Your mom and I love this song so much. Almost there, honey. Oh, sweetheart, don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Sorry, y'all. My cat's in here crying and stuff. She's being extra annoying. See what I mean? Is Look at the okay? stew. Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening... Maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... Mia, get down! Mia! Secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Why do you, like, Ethan, no. Why do you talk to him like a dog? No. Bad Ethan. Hilarious. What the fuck?
Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk on. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Mission objective, eliminate target, recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to the site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Should have had 20. We're finally here. Here we go. Fuck this. I knew this game was going to be short. Because of how the demos played out. Duck underneath these. I don't know who did that to the poor little crow. Yeah, that wasn't weird. I wonder, do y'all find it weird that he's, his flashlight's like aiming towards the ground and not in front of him? Or at least the ground and what's in front of him? Instead he's just aiming at the ground. It's a little sus to me, but... That's the least complaint. Nothing in here. I don't know why I even bothered.
Run into a week. This moment on the board. Did all this. Okay, now we're finally here. Poor horse. Yeah, can't go that way. I forgot. I was thinking maybe you might be able to pick up stuff early, but you still can't. So. My first box. Look, see? Everybody makes stew. Some kind of stew, please. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! How do you miss? Are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? First gun. more Jesus Christ What the hell is wrong with this place Oh. 
Is it over? Ooh, this is where stuff gets crazy. Let's make some ammo. Let's get ready for this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh god. I knew it. Gotta go, gotta go. Come on, come get some. Shit, I'll stay in here if y'all don't want any. And there it is. Just keep running. You have to keep running. And here he comes. Let's run this circle and this is how you beat it, by the way. In case people were wondering, this is all you gotta do from here. Go back down if you have to. Just keep running. You actually can beat him right here. This is really hard. Come on down. Come on down! Good try, buddy. Back up off of me. Save our bullets. Save our bullets.
Our shotgun is our escape route, you could say. Sorry, excuse me. No, I'm apologizing to you, beast. Gotta go back. It's going up. Woo, this is intense. Sorry, dude. But I gotta go. Gotta go! Okay. Wait, wait. Ooh, that was crazy. Tell me that's not reminiscent of uh, Resident Evil 4. That was wild, right? Let's go back and pick up some of the loot that we didn't pick up. Gunpowder, some money. Couple items. Wasn't there more? Positive there was. We got that one already. in death we give glory uh hello you shouldn't be out here it's not safe what the hell hey can you hear me uh, it's you the child's father child hey wait do you mean rose is she here <laughs> rose rose yes she is in great danger since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. 
They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? So, this is the village. This is the perfect. So, I already got this, apparently. Guess this leads to the castle. Alright, y'all. I think this is the perfect. Here we go, look. That's Lady Miranda. Demetricus, I guess that's what you're saying. And a couple of the yeah, goes Heisenberg and some of the other ones. Saw that. Where is it? Why does it sound like it's on top of me? hear it but I can't see it let's go ahead and save it Oh yeah, this is the perfect spot to stop. I can hear one of those goats or rams, whatever they are. I just don't see it. But anyway, I appreciate every single one of y'all, man. Y'all make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And we'll continue part two of this series soon. I appreciate every single one of you. Catch you on the next one. Peace.